Okay, so we're here at day three. We are outside the international ballroom, and we are going to... Are you avoiding the camera or trying to get in shot? I'm trying to get in the shot. You keep turning. Then there we are. You're in there shot. <laughs> yeah, our, our little diva. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Oh, the glare is beautiful. Look at that. Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, we're going to watch robots fight, so that's going to obviously be fun. Interesting, to say the least. Yeah. Because um, I used to actually see stuff like this on TV when I was younger. Battle bots, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. And then that new version that they have, like, hosted by Chris Jericho, that, those giant robot battles, mm -hmm. oh, those are obviously something rigged to them. Yeah. The robot splits in half, like that. Yeah, I'm, pro I'm probably going to stop this part now before we get a 30-minute lecture on rigged matches, right? I don't know, that was it. Oh, well, there we go. Three, five! <laughs> so we are having pizza for breakfast. To the bagel bites. Fine, I guess. No, the pizza bites. Pizza? Yeah, that. Um, but yeah, we're just sitting here outside the hut eating pizza. Um, we got out of the robot battles, they were fantastic. They were the small weight ones. Apparently the heavyweights are tomorrow, but we'll be on the Greyhound bus by that time. But so. the announcer really made it all go really well. He did. He was fantastic. You know I like a good showman that that guy knew. Poor guy, though, had the new So messed up carrot juice. Yeah, some juice box that had all sorts of veggies shoved into it. The, the proportion was off, so of course it was going to taste more like vegetable fruit. But. Well, they asked for a carrot, and someone had carrot juice for their kid, and so and all of a sudden, the audience just goes, try, try, try. Yeah, and he took one sip. And, and they started it. going, chug, chug, chug. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, so there's the update. So I just finished that interview I was telling you guys about, and uh, you know what? I, I don't think I'm going to tell you who it is. I mean, there's no... I, I'll just leave it as a surprise for you guys. I mean, it's not like I could give you a hint or anything. Jacob's busy with the Doctor Who panel, so I'm getting a chance to just calm down, so to speak. Um, I had a really weird moment earlier, and I'm kind of annoyed at it. Um, one of the staff members had seen someone, for those of you that know Discworld, at some point the worst wizard in the world named Red Swim, he's horrible at it, but he acquires a case that holds all sorts of things, but also becomes vicious if someone tries to attack it, pretty much snaps them in two. But they do it in a comical way to where instead of going, worry, you go, <laughs> it's kind of cute. Um, but anyway, he did that to where he had a, a suitcase following him with limbs sticking out of it, like all the victims <laughs> that had been eaten up, right? Um, they said, that guy, that wizard, has a case following him where it's eaten but full of baby parts. And I said, well, actually, I did do well, actually, right? And then told him what it actually was. I apologize that because it was the most like, dorky pantry thing I've ever done, but still, interesting moment. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Escalator's broken. Gotta uh, take the stairs. Uh, yeah? N never mind. <laughs> Last time. Figured I'd capture that moment. <laughs> They don't even know what you're talking about. They're going to hear the very end of that sentence. Anyway, last vlog from Atlanta, because obviously the trip back, I'm not going to be able to really vlog that much. and We're going to be too tired at the start of it. Well, sure. Jacob is. He's not a morning person. I'm used to waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Jacob, on the other hand... Wakes up at 6. Yeah. Like, like most people. See, my job gives me that little advantage in this case. Um, 
Well, I think overall, while I'm not a morning person, I just don't get enough sleep. Right. I'm usually at it and keeping going. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, Dragon Con was fantastic. Yeah. Um, like I said in an earlier section of this where I quoted Justin Robert Young, me and him talked because for our last hurrah, we went to the Hard Rock Cafe in Atlanta. And we got to do a group sing-along to Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody with the guests. Uh, which I would have recorded. I thought about it, and then I went, I don't want this video taken down by YouTube. So there's, <laughs> there's that a copyright infringement thing. It's like, no, let's not. That, and I, get, I think really a video like that, while it's entertaining, it's more entertaining to be in something like that because it's more on the fact that at that one particular moment, that one instant, without a single word, a whole group, was in the same state of mind. I don't know. Speak for yourself. If I saw a video like that, I'd still get as much enjoyment out of it. <laughs> for me, it's more along the lines of being a part of it. But then again, I'm more of a be involved type of mentality. Well, you you know you listen to you do more like listening to podcasts. I do more playing video games, so it kind of relates. You're used to being a. We could do an entire vlog that would last about ten minutes on that argument. <laughs> Well, yeah, we could. Yeah, that, that may happen at some point. Um, the point is, the stuff that I'm into is involved just in a different way. You use your hands, I use my voice and everything, and it's uh, community versus actively working on things. Can we just leave it at that? Yeah, yours is more communication, mine's more hands-on. Okay? Yeah, okay, that we'll agree on. Because the way you were going, it's like I do nothing. No, 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 I didn't imply that. It's just like kind of like you, you are a part of stuff like chat room. Yeah. I'm a part of stuff like working with people to make articles, and that's actually, about, that's probably not bad. I, I work with wood, <laughs> furniture. Okay, yeah, that's that's better, because I was about to say, okay, yeah, that that works. Um, by the way, we've been going out for like three days straight, so we're half asleep. <laughs> Uh, yeah, again, it, but yeah, that's that's why there's that awkward moment at the end of the vlog. Um, no, it won't be the end anyway. Um, I think we should make this one longer and discuss kind of like the, what were your favorite moments? Mm, it, like, not the favorite moment, because it's kind of hard to pick, just some highlights for you. Yeah, um, definitely that interview with that person that I'm not telling them who they are, but that, that that gets that pass because you guys know how passionate I am about doing content creation. That's why I vlog this stuff for Pete's sakes. Um, so yeah, that's definitely one of the things. Um, and then uh, the even though you d didn't dig it because it wasn't your scene, uh, you did like Night Attack though, uh, but the party after it... I was it, a part of Night Attack. That was pretty cool. You were, yeah. You got brody I think I mentioned that. Um, badly. Badly. Yes, <laughs> badly. Uh, <laughs> YOLO. Yeah, I guess so. That's the only one, I, that's the only acronym I like. Yeah, I guess so, even though, ugh, but... <laughs> it's a good motto, at least. You only live once, so at least try things. Exactly, yeah, even even though it's it's become so polite. I was so dead nervous, because for me, I don't like being the center of attention. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, really. <laughs> okay, um, but... Uh, we're slap happy, can you tell? Uh, anyway, um... But the par the party afterwards, I think, because you guys know me, Triple M, so I am a big indie music scene, and there is nothing more freaking indie than a, and you guys see the footage, so you'll know how close we were to the stage. This was not a separated stage. If I wanted to, I could reach out and touch Shy Guy and Alec. I wouldn't, because, bleh. but it, it, it just theoretically, if I wanted to, I could have, and that's freaking indie, and I love crap like that, so that was pretty much an environment just set up for me. I'm you sorry, but I'm, I'm kind of amused by the fact that the shot, the way it's angled, kind of looks like you're pointing at my head. Am I? Am I? <laughs> I it, it, it looks like <laughs> I'm pointing... You are a bad slap, like, <laughs> Yeah. And people know that we're just tired. We don't even do anything crazy. We're just tired, and this is us kind of... At the end in. of it all. So so what was your moment? Well, actually, give me just a second. Um, I want to actually get the item, because with it being not as a well-known game as most... Oh, I kind of like, we already showed that, if you're talking about the Fire Emblem oh, thing. We, we already showed that. Well, well I'm going to show you. Like, okay. I got the autographs like, on here. What? <clears throat> and it's pretty interesting being able to talk to the people that were involved and actually being discussed scenes. But, you know, because as everyone knows, this is my absolute favorite video game series. Mm -hmm. So being able to talk about how 
I really enjoyed the way they interpreted the character and executed. And they even explained, like, Fred, uh, Kyle, uh, Kyle, golly, I'm having a little trouble with me. Worst time ever. <laughs> <laughs> but the person who played Frederick and Valadar in Fire Emblem Awakening, he was talking to me about how originally Valadar was supposed to have a different accent, but they were like, no, 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 that doesn't work at all. Yeah. So I thought it was pretty interesting. Tiny stuff like that. Another thing is um, a certain someone, I'm not going to mention because it's the same certain someone Samuel won't mention, Bright text, fellow Samcast member Kevin Draper with my own phone. Kevin had a bit of a freak out. Yes, that was fantastic. <laughs> and it was awesome. It's like, I knew what he was going to do. I was like, it ain't going to happen again. Yeah. I got to go for her. And so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Got a lot of great pictures. Um, another highlight was just meeting the people. You can tell. It's This is the thing about Dragon Con. We were talking at the Hard Rock about this. Um... I think the fact that Dragon Con works for me, I don't know if I could swing most conventions and actually enjoy myself as much. Because Dragon Con, like we said, is all about the community, as right. I said, like the, the, the Justin quote earlier in the vlog. Uh, but yeah, I think that's what makes me like this, is that as much as uh, moments like panels and stuff like that exist, it's more about the people, like the conversation with the one guy that we had outside the Night Attack panel. I, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on your name, dude. Um, but we, I had That's a whole, cool dude. I, can't remember his name. I had a whole passionate discussion with someone about new media and how it's changing things. Okay. So there's that. Um, but yeah, we need to cut this off cause this part is already seven minutes long. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Two more things. Want to you've, you've, you've not vlogged a lot, so you don't know how to wrap it like I do, you know, so it, you're good. Go. Yeah. All right. I like watching the Doctor Who episode with a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the group boo at the first commercial. They yeah. Go, now we're going to play it. Then a commercial. And then an Xfinity commercial comes on. 2,000 boos simultaneously. <laughs> I was yeah. floored. Mm. And then the fact that someone actually fanned out, like, geeked out about the fact that they knew who I was. Yeah. That was... That was... Again, community. That's that's pretty <laughs> awesome. So overall, it was a great experience. Mm hmm Yeah. And the one moment, and I won't spoil anything, but the one moment that uh, the doctor finds out something very disturbing from a Dalek, the entire room acted like a ton of bricks got dropped on them. Even, because it did. Best way to summarize it, even I think it could go too dark. Yes. That, so that that's... That's, I'm curious what Donovan is going to think about this whenever I have that review with him next week. But anyway, so the next bit of this will be us home. Finally home. After this time. Oh, we took our first Uber ride, by the way. <laughs> Although we weren't officially taking an Uber ride because we didn't use the app, but the taxi that the hotel got for us was an Uber, so he went ahead and took us anyway. Nice guy. It was a great experience. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we are back. It was a fantastic Dragon Con, and well, I'm going to finish this up the way I normally do. If you want to follow... Take a nap. What? Shh. If you want to follow... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> he gave me the glare. You know that... Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Um, if you want to follow all of the other vlogs, you can go to tscn.tv slash vlog. And until next time, live your life. And I'm home. Everybody take five. <laughs> this has been a production of the Samcast Network. tscn.tv What's your passion?